say that only time will tell what effect today's Supreme Court decision will have on the presidency. Will the law fail? Will our highest ideals fail? Will checks and balances fail? Will we allow the nation's highest principles to be subverted by a tyrannical presidency? Well, my friends, John Roberts has made his decision. Now let's see who will enforce it. This is the Savage Nation. If you care to comment on today's huge Supreme Court story, and it's a big story. The phone number is 855-407-282. There is another story that's very important, and that is it's come out again that ICE knew in advance of the child immigrant surge. They planned it. We have evidence and proof that DHS and Obama were in conspiracy to bring in these. It will soon be hundreds of thousands of illegal alien mothers, children, gangbangers, whoever knows, whatever. And in reaction to that lawlessness of this presidency, an anti-amnesty group has asked Americans to mail gently used underwear to Obama and Boehner. That's right. If you have a pair of gently used underwear, we're going to give you an address for Barack Obama and John Boehner. Uh, according to the anti-amnesty group Americans for Legal Immigration, PAC, they are calling on Americans to mail their, quote, gently used underwear to President Barack Obama and House Speaker John Boehner in response to a government request for new underwear for the recent surge of illegal immigrants being held by Border Patrol. You may think it's a laughing joke. Uh, that they want 45,000 pair, 42,000 pairs of new underwear, including 6X large pairs, which means they're not all little children. Some of them are grown men able to carry a an AK-47 or a 9. So this group is saying send them their gently used underwear. And they said because D.C. is already full of dirty laundry. Just add to it. Now, I can't recommend you do that because that would be considered an act of terrorism. I can guarantee you if you mail underwear to the president... They'll say it's a, what will they say? It's a bioterrorism. <laughs> of course, in some cases, if you really are a red diaper dopa baby, it would be bioterrorism. Settled law. It would be bioterrorism to mail dirty underwear to the president, so I would not recommend it. Especially coming from red diaper dopa babies who never wash their clothing. They grew up in the hippie era where dirty clothing and human body odor was considered very natural, very hippy dippy. So we've got a lot of serious stuff to talk about today. And the Georgia thing, you know, I, it's funny how it came back to me. The minute I saw this, the minute I saw it, I said, don't celebrate too soon because we had another dictatorship along the way. And that was way back when. And that was um, Jackson, the president, Andrew Jackson, who said, okay, now that the Supreme Court has made their decision, let them enforce. And so Jackson supported Georgia's attempts to assert state authority over the Cherokee people. And after that, they, they removed them from Georgia on the Trail of Tears. That's because he was an Indian-hating, racist, SOB pig. And so we've got to be careful because there's been a tyrant before who said, Niet, no, nada, to the Supreme Court. And this one's just liable to do the same. You don't know what he's liable to do. And I'm not trying to put ideas in his head. God knows you don't want to put any more ideas in his head. At the bottom of the hour, we have a real surprise, and I rarely have guests on the show for a number of reasons, but um, that's because I'm too narcissistic and egotistical to have guests, I guess. I mean, everyone, I guess that's what you're accusing me of, of thinking for myself and talking about myself, analyzing things through my own mind and my own being and my own history. Pardon me. I have a guest on, Jay Sekula, who actually argued the case before the Supreme Court. Do you understand that? Supreme Court. Supreme Court is a golf course that I was once on. The Sup- he argued the case before the Supreme Court. <laughs> you know, I don't know a single intelligent person in my in my sphere of, let's say, mental influence, who's not lying awake at night worrying about what this tyrannical presidency is doing to this country. Everybody I know who knows what's going on can't sleep at night. They say the world is on fire. He wrecked the Middle East. He started a new Cold War with Russia. He's flooding America with illegal aliens, many of them gangbangers, many of them uh, ill, and no one's stopping him. They're terrified. They feel that we're living in Zimbabwe, or at least in South Africa, and they don't like it. They grew up and they were born in America, and every one of them I'm talking about is a hardworking American. None of them are deadbeat leeches. They're terrified of this corrupt administration And so today, perhaps, they will feel better. If you want to comment on the Supreme Court ruling, a day of victory at the Supreme Court,